thank you so much for joining us with a new video. If you are new here consider subscribing, because we bring you great base design for every town hall level. And we will also explain why certain buildings are placed in certain places while doing speed build. Also we will show the effective range of every defensive building, and some defense replays later in this video. So let's talk about the base design. As we all know that the town hall is the important building in this game, because the opponent can get one star from destroying it, and it stores some portion of loot in it. So we place town hall in the center compartment of a base along with both expo, heroes and clan castle. Also it is hard to collect dark elixir in town hall 9 and we need a lots of it to upgrade our heroes. That's why we need to protect Dark Elixir storage, so Dark Elixir storage is also placed in the center compartment of base where it is heavily guarded from every direction. And we place Dark Elixir storage in the opposite part from where the clan castle is located. So, if opponent went for Dark Elixir storage first, they cannot lure CC troops, which will make hard for opponent to get 2 or 3 stars from the space. And, if the opponent went for eliminating CC troops first by attacking from clan castle side, they will lose most of their damage troops such as wizards, baby dragon, or maybe they need to use archer queen ability earlier while dealing with CC troops. Which will make them hard to reach the dark elixir storage later in the battle. And for the CC troops we suggest to use the combination of one super minion, two headhunters and rest is archers, or, combination of Fekka and balloon. These two CC troops combinations are even good against Town Hall 10 attack strategy. And since both heroes are in the center compartment of a base near to the Town Hall, which will make hard for an opponent to take the Town Hall, especially in La Balloon attack strategy. Because Balloon will not aim heroes until all the defense are destroyed. So, at that time, Archer Queen can swipe lots of opponent's balloons. And you might also be thinking that the opponent's Archer Queen can take down our Archer Queen. But opponent's Queen will lose lots of the hit points along with spell dealing with clan castle troops, so it will be hard to take down our Archer Queen, even they have the max out Archer Queen. And, in addition to that, all the main defenses are placed all around the core compartment of the base. So that the air defense can provide their coverage all over a base to defend it from massive dragons and lava hound, and wizard tower and mortar can provide splash damage all over the base to protect base from hag riders and farming attack strategy, such as barbarians, archers and goblins. And we placed all the air defense far from air sweeper, so opponent cannot get both air defense and air sweeper at the same time using lightning spell, which will be helpful during the air attack strategy. And, we also placed both skeleton traps and some spring traps in the core compartment, so that, it can distract and eliminate some opponent's troops while they reach the core part of the base. And both air mines and air bombs are placed near the air defense and wizard tower respectively, which will be effective against dragons and lava loon. Because air mine will help to eliminate tanking troops such as dragons and lava hound, and air bomb will help to provide splash damage on balloons. And, to protect the outer parts buildings, we placed all the archer towers and cannons on the edge of the base, which cover every outer part of the base, which you can watch later in the video. Since it is a hybrid base, so we placed all the storage buildings into the different inner compartments, so that opponent cannot get all the loot just by entering one compartment. And it is placed near the main defensive buildings such as wizard tower, mortar and air defense, so storage buildings are highly guarded in this space. Also, main defense can have extra time to eliminate opponent's troops, because storage buildings have a high hit points than the other buildings. And, since these storage buildings are in the inner compartment, farming attacking strategy cannot get all the loots, and can leave us a free shield in return. Also we will show the effective coverage of every defensive building, and some defense replays later in the video, so that you can know how effective the space design is.
once again, let's see the placement of the defensive structures and heroes, and its effective coverage. Let's see some defense replays against mostly used Town Hall 9 attack strategy, so that you can know how effective the space is. And also keep in mind that we did not use any CC troops, so with the CC troops this space will defend even better than this. And you can copy this space from the link in the description. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit that like button and share it with your friends. And if you are not subscribed to our channel yet, then hit that red subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. And if you need more base layout at different town hall levels, make sure to mention in the comment section. And I will see you in the next one. Exaggerated, that's what you assume The story's over now, I must conclude I am conflicted, watching where I step still Hanging in the balance, not the life I want to live I want to take it all, standing tall Fear I wait the person you are